Hey folks, Mr. Walsh here on F6. I can add two unlike fractions. Here we have it. We're going to be adding those two together. First thing I notice is the denominators are not the same. It makes it very difficult to add two fractions. Well, impossible to add two fractions with different denominators unless I uh, convert them into fractions with the similar with similar or the same denominators. So first thing we're going to do that we learn is we're going to find the multiples of both 4 and 10. Okay, and I can use my multiplication table here if I need to. 4, 8, uh, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. We could keep going out, right? So now I'm going to look at my tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, we could keep going out. I here is the least common denominator, okay, or least common multiple is uh, 20. So let's t bring our 20 over here, just like previous targets. 20 and 20, all right, and now take 10 times 2 makes 20, therefore 6 times 2 makes 12, 4 times 5 makes 20, and 1 times 5. There we have it. So we can now add, so now we can add our 5 and our 12, so we have now 17. Here's our answer down here. Let's write it right over here. 17 twentieths. Okay, can we simplify it? Well, I don't think so. Once you start getting used to numbers, you start to recognize when you can and can't simplify. 17, for example, I know that the only factors for 17 are just one in itself. It makes it a prime number. And um, so, and I know that either one of those numbers are factors of 20. I mean, I could go test it all out. I could go test 2, 3, 4, 5. Just know that nothing else makes 17. It's a prime number. It only has a factor of 1 and 17. I could go through here and check all of all these factors, but I know that 17 is not a factor of 20. So therefore, this is a simplified fraction. All right? Okay. Get my handy dandy eraser out here. And let's move to the second problem. We have 8 fifteenths. Plus 5 twelfths. Fractions are not, or the denominators are not the same. So first thing we're going to do, come over here. 15 and 12. We're going to go find all the factors of 15 and 12. So um, I don't think, yeah, my, t my multiplication table doesn't have a 15 and 12 on it. So I'm going to come over here and start with 15. You can get a calculator out and just calculate each one. So 15 plus 15. If you have one there, why don't you practice that with me? So now you're going to take 30 plus another 15. So you have 45. And then another one would be 60. 75, 90, and we could keep going out, okay? Let's go to 12 now. So we know that 12, not I think I said factors, multiples, sorry about that. 12 plus 12, so it is 24, 36, 48, 60. Ah, there it is. There is our least common multiple. That's going to become our least common denominator over here. So let's write that in. Okay. 12 times what number makes 60? Let's see how far out we went. 12 times 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 12 times 5 makes 60. Can you see that? Okay. Therefore, we're going to use the same factor. 5 times 5 makes 25. 15 times, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 15 times 4 made 60, so we're going to say 8 times 4 makes 32. So now we can add 32 and 25. Let's see, I know 3, t we have, this would be 5, 6, 7, 7 ones, plus 3 tens and 2 tens would be 5 tens. So there's 57 over 60. All right, 
And again, I do not believe 57, uh, you will be able to simplify 57 sixtieths. All right? Okay, folks, continue working on that particular target, and um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.